and I'm happy how it turned out, so don't forget to follow me, and bye bye! Hi everyone, here's Wolfie! Today I'm doing another fan art for Jackie the Nerdy Crafter. So, I did a quick sketch, as before, but it didn't turn out, so I had to do this one. Um, here I was just kind of blocking out the shapes and trying to get the idea where all the lines should be. My drawing wasn't that good or detailed. Actually too much detail, so it wasn't able to be seeable. Mm. The shirt and the sleeves were really funny. Like, I really enjoyed doing it, it wasn't stressful, but <laughs> this hand gave me kind of a lot of trouble. I don't know what I was doing wrong, it just gave me trouble. I was so happy to do this fan art because it was laying in my room on the piece of paper for months. I really wanted to give it to her for her birthday, but I didn't make it. <laughs> we had too much work. Mm -hmm. I really like the sword. sword. Well, when she sponsors, when she is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, she has that beautiful sword, just waving it around, kind of. So I really like that, so I wanted to include that. My original plan was to around somewhere above the sword to be like an angel flying around like attack and angel is attacking and everything so I thought that would be interesting but I didn't include it <laughs> the head kind of gave me a little bit trouble but it wasn't too bad, honestly. <laughs> I thought it, be bo it would be worse. Um, the last fan art that I did of her, um, I suppose I will link it down below in the description. Uh, it gave me a lot of trouble. I drew her and her two kitties meeting All Might. And I, it was kind of hard. <laughs> Here, I'm refinishing the line art and all the lines. Um, I thought the lines were kind of thick, so I'm gonna fix that later. I heard of a new way to express shadows and highlights with line variation. I don't work with pressure sensitivity so I had to do that by hand <laughs> while making the brush nibs smaller or larger so that was kind of hard <laughs> I wasn't even sure where the light would, light would be hitting it so I had to discover it when the, while the coloring thing <laughs> for the turtle I am choosing Mikey I think that's his name as I was younger, I wasn't really watching Ninja Turtles. <laughs> My parents didn't allow me to watch like fighting games and that kind of stuff, but I watched a few parts. And I do remember him. I heard her say in many of the videos that she loves Mikey and that it's like her favorite. So. I wanted to draw him the feet, the feet gave me a little bit of trouble It wasn't too bad, but When the legs and the... Um, how it's called? <laughs> I don't know The back thing uh, that line that I drew in the sketch made me a lot of trouble because I didn't know if I finished it. 
This is my little animation I made and let's get on to the coloring. First I'm just gonna block in all the colors, kind of just the highlights, the colors and everything just blocked in and I will erase everything later. I love her hat. This is like her signature. She never she's never without a hat on her main channel. Or is she? Well, you have to go check her out. Her head is bulbasaur and I know that she usually wears I think light blue. Originally I knew that they're striped, like white and dark blue stripes over there. But I didn't do it because I liked the solid blue thing. And the shadow on the knees, you will see, it gave me so many trouble. Here I was trying to remember the color, the right color of her hoodie. First I wanted to do purple, but then I choose blue, thank god. Something I did different was that I chose one layer for the coloring. Like for the hoodie, I used one layer. For the pants and the hair, for both separate layers. Usually I block in the color, I would do two different types of lighting and two different types of shadows, each on thing on separate layer. It takes me to like 100 around 100 layers <laughs> if nothing else it's funny when you merge them together and everything is just different here as i say i wasn't sure where the lighting was coming from so i just decided that it's coming from the left side from kind of in the middle of the horizon so i just Got stuck with that lighting. And a little bit of lighting is from coming from above. Like there's two types of it and I think I wouldn't be able to make it better than this. Just to say I'm really proud of myself on the bandage that he has around uh, his back. That thing that I'm coloring right now. I had to do it over, but I think it turned out, turned out good. I mean, I'm really proud of it. The face... Mm, I didn't really know what color to choose. And it was kind of difficult because yeah, she has that kind of... It's not really like a pale skin color. It's like more rosy kind of color and I didn't honestly know how to impress that so I just tried to do something I know it looks like bleeding but it's just a mouth shadow I did the mouth for her and for the turtle at the same time but I'm only showing it here You see, I put some basic shadows down, I didn't really try that much, but I think the line art on the eye was a little thick, but okay. <laughs> As I said before, uh, here I'm doing the line thing, line variation. Basically, it's when you put thicker lines on the darker parts and thinner lines on the lighter parts. I usually use 1.10 but I used 1.15, 1. no, yeah 1.10, 1.15, 2, I used 1.9, 1.7, kind of around 1 and 2 and I used 0 0.7 and 0 0.5 for the really 
thin lines. <laughs> It was hard because I was kind of just jumping around with the line art. I'm just happy that I had the basic line art before under there and that the colors were blocked out because if I wanted to fix something it wouldn't be like oh I need to do the whole thing again just because I don't have that one corner. I hate when that happens. So I think I'll stick to blocking the colors out widely overdo the line art just so to make sure if there is mistakes that I can fix it as I said I love the sword but it gave me so much trouble <laughs> I said I didn't have major troubles or problems but kind of the sword I didn't know how to do the symmetry thing it's not showing it here, but I was doing that symmetry to make it kind of look normal, but yeah. Here I'm a little bit fixing the pants, again the shadow that's falling from the chest and the upper body and a little bit adjusting the colors and the shading. That was my main thing and I colored in the slippers I know that he she has dark blue but I'm not completely sure don't ask why <laughs> I do remember her videos because I watched every single of them like five times or more <laughs> I am really proud of the shading on the sword I wanted it to make like shimmery like it's reflecting light and the handle i just didn't know what to do <laughs> i wanted to have like a variation of gray and black so i just made it striped it shows like it's damaged or like the handle striped and i don't know leather like you know plastic but the leather type that they had um, in ancient and old times. Jackie says that the eyes are the windows of the, the soul and that it really took the whole thing together. I'm really proud of the eyes. <laughs> and here I'm going to start erasing the skin color so that it looks like <laughs> it looks like it has to look I turned all the other layers off so I can see what I'm doing and I am really happy with how it turned out like I mean the sword just look at it <laughs> I'm just really proud of it and I had to lower the opac opacity on the holy thing on the handle because it was too dark and it just didn't fit in the picture and I left a little bit of that opacity around the fingers at first because I thought it would be an extra shadow but it didn't look good it was too dark here I'm just doing that bandage thing and they I don't know <laughs> and then I'm going to move up on the sleeves and the whole hoodie this didn't give me a lot of trouble it was really funny erasing all that color but it was also kind of annoying because there was really a lot of it but it was really fun seeing it all go together like I mean now it's clean now it looks like it was colored only in that space nothing around fluttering just so over the whole canvas the bubbles are here had as i said it's her signature thing and i just finished up the colors a little bit because i think i colored that 
after the hair but it didn't really fit the whole outfit so I had to make it a bit more lime green I was really like I indecisive I think I didn't know how to do the tail I know turtles have tails and there's an itty bitty one just tiny why? because I didn't know how to do it I know that they have tiny tails and I thought, okay, maybe it's under the back thing. It's, I want to call it a shield, but I hope no one gets yelling at me for doing that. So this is the finished coloring. And this is gonna be a little bit shorter video, just because um, I made it and the app can't put it like slower. If I do, it gives it through 30 and I don't want you to be sitting here for 34 minutes. So here I just blocked in a few last shadows and that's where I thought about drawing the angel bird I drew him but it didn't look out good so I just cut it out of the film here are some finer details and a little bit of finishing up the hair didn't look the right color so I added another a muted brown and lower the opacity and hope that it will take the whole thing together so this is the finished project and I hope you liked it and I'm really really proud of it